I know about you guys, I feel like these are pretty bad choices for an next community day event. If you guys want to know more info about it, be sure to check out the video because I'm going to get into it in 3, 2, 1. How's it going, everyone? This is Shadow Trainer 1030, and today we got some interesting stuff to go over concerning Pokemon Go. Out of nowhere, Niantic dropped the info on a community event that is coming up and told us some info about it. So, when we're doing this video, I'm going to tell you everything you know about it, give my thoughts on it, etc. But first, before I get into it, I do can mention that I recently started a brand new giveaway if you're new to the it. If my channel reaches 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to try to pick one winner to not only receive a fresh new Nintendo Switch, but also a copy of your choice, Pokemon Sword or Shield. More details will be at the end of this video. Be sure to check it out how much you are to go by sharing with your friends and family or wherever you share at. They appreciate it. Alright, so now getting back to today's video, I'll start off with the Community Day event info. If you take a look at the screen next to me, I'm on Pokemon Go Live website. As you can see, the, the title here says, Kamiya Day Building is back. Which Pokemon will you choose to be featured during June and July Kamiya Days? Now, if you scroll down, it tells you everything you need to know. I'm not going to read everything I've here. If you want to read it yourself, it'll be in the screen below. So basically, it talks about that from May 23rd till May 24th, you'll have an opportunity to build to vote. And then whatever Pokemon has the most vote, that will be featured for June. And the one that has second place will go into July. So the Pokemon you can vote for are Squirtle, Weedle, Sandrew, or Ghastly. Squirtle, when you evolve into Blastoise, that Pokemon will learn the exclusive move or a spear. Weedle, when you evolve straight into Beedrill, that Pokemon will learn the exclusive move Drill Run. For Sandrew, that, that does include the Alolan version, when you evolve it straight into Sandslash, that Pokemon will learn the exclusive move, Shadow Claw. For Ghastly, when you evolve it straight into Gengar, that Pokemon will learn the exclusive move, Shadow Punch. Personally for me, there's most of these already have their Shine variants, but Weedle and the family don't have their Shine variants. Yes, that's one I'm mostly going to vote for. Now... If I had a second choice as to what Pokemon I would vote for, I would say Sandshrew. The reason is because there are probably a lot of players that don't have the low-end Sandshrew as a shiny. So that will be nice for other players. For Squirtle, it's like, who is ever going to vote for that? I mean, sure, Aura Spear is going to be nice for PvP, but then again, think about it. They already have their shiny variants, and Squirtle already has its own community day event, so there's no need to build a vote for that. I mean, sure, if you're new to the game and don't have any shines, guess it's nice. But personally, for me, where players have been playing for a pretty long while ever since the beginning of Pokemon Go, this isn't really worth it. Now, it does go down a bit further as to how you can vote. Now, you have to spin a Pokestop and complete a task. So, similar to what we did with last time. So, do I think that the community event is going to be really good? It's like between 50-50. Uh, like I said, I'm really hoping for Weedle and Sandrew to win. If you don't pick any of those things, then I don't want to run with you guys. Why would you not want Weedle? The Shine family is so nice, including the Beedrill. That's pretty much all I'm going to cover for today's video. The purpose of the video is to let you know that Community Day voting is back. From May 23rd till May 24th, you'll have opportunity to vote for either Squirtle, Weedle, Sandrew, including the Alone version, and Ghastly. Told you about the respective community day exclusive moves. Told you all more what Knights got to say. I gave thoughts on it, etc. Now, if you're curious as to if I am planning to vote, even though I'm in lockdown, hopefully I'll be able to. If you guys are still in lockdown and are able to spin Pokestop, build some voting, that would be appreciated. Be able to help out. Now, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on everything covered here. Which Pokemon are you going to vote for? Are you still hyped for see that Community Day event? Let me know. They appreciate it. Hope you all did enjoy today's video for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give you a thumbs up. Check out my channel, subscribe bell for more gameplay videos. And I will see you all in the next video.